All right. Uh, so, Eric, a, a, as you were suggesting, is to start doing the new ooh thing a little bit out loud versus in my head. Um, I kind of, I, I, this time I was able to time it to when I was putting my dog to bed because uh, I have to lock him in the basement. Otherwise, he just, he, he, he keeps me awake all night. Um, but I managed to time it this time. Um, the dream was surprisingly vivid. I, uh, so this dream kind of started off with me just kind of walking down a very dark hallway. Um, it was kind of in a factory like setting, um, but really old kind of like stonework kind of th- the walls were like middle age or uh, kind of like medieval kind of age kind of stonework type things. But I was kind of walking on a catwalk Um Something like you would see in a factory, um, kind of suspended in the air, but it was run down, rusty, very creaky, <clears throat> and I, I was really confused the why I was there. Um, just a very confused, just I don't know, kind of mindset, I guess. Um, and at, I just I just kept walking down it, and as I go deeper, it's really not getting lighter, so I get dark. It, it's like it's really dark, but I could somehow see at the same time. I, I don't know what that means. It was weird. Dark, but I could see it. It just, I don't know. I, I, I'll move on. As I'm, I'm not sure how to put that in the words. Well, anyway, so <clears throat> as I was walking down, um, I was noticing that uh, I, I kept seeing it, seeing what looked like the walls were kind of <sighs> pulsing. Or moving, uh, maybe it was like a sheet of water kind of trickling down, but they just look like they're pulsing and wet. Um, it, 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 that's really the only only words I can find to the kind of describe what I was seeing. Um, the catwalk was just a cat. It was a rusty old metal catwalk, something you'd probably see in like an old factory that I've seen in like movies. Um, <clears throat> But the walls were pulsing and kind of wet, almost as if they were alive. Um, but I, I kept walking, and but I, I noticed in my right hand, I had kind of held out in front of me. I don't know why I had it out, just just out in front of me. I didn't really have control over that hand. It was just out there, palm up. And it had a turtle shell. Again, this gets back to the whole weird thing that turtles, for some reason, are in every aspect of my dreams. But this was just a shell. <clears throat> it wasn't like one of those robotic turtles or something I've seen in the past in dreams. Um, but it, the, the shell kind of gave off this like aura or a draw of some sort that just yearning to keep moving forward. Don't stop. Just keep moving and kind of, I had the sensation that if I was a stop, something bad may happen. Um, <clears throat> as I go forward, I come across a little T section. So I have a choice of going left or right. And in this case, I take a left. Um, the walls, immediately when I take the left, the walls just start moving and undulating like more, like more aggressively. Um, almost as if I had awoken something. Um, it, it, it kind, it kind of, I kind of had this feeling that the walls were moving and undulating in anticipation, or something like that. Um, I halt suddenly as this begins to happen, as the shell in my hand begins to vibrate like aggressively. Um, I felt shoot all the way up my arm and kind of like down my spine. And then kind of around in the groin area, and it just kind of like sort of like spiraling upwards towards past my neck. It, it was weird. And I, I just suddenly stopped. And from this point, f- without any hesitation, I just I turn back, go back to the kind of like the, the T intersection I came across in the catwalk. The catwalk hasn't changed. It's just. The walls are more aggressively moving and pulsing. Um, <clears throat> so where I had turned left, I go straight, which brings me into the path, which would have been the right path. Um, the walls begin contracting inwards, 
as if it's trying to pull me back the way I just turned away from. Um, a draw of some sort type of mental sensation. It wasn't a physical one. It was kind of like a mental sensation. Um, but I, nonetheless, I, I, I pushed through that. <clears throat> and as I keep walking forward, the walls begin calming down. Kind of almost to the point, kind of like where when I first start remembering the parts of the dream, everything was more calm. The, sure, the walls are kind of pulsing a little bit, moving, but nothing like aggressive or it like wanted to get me. Um, I come across a sign on the wall. Um, I don't know if it makes any sense, but this was on the right side, um, right hand side of me. And it seemed kind of organic, moving as if it was alive on its own. And it had this weird... I don't know if it was like lettering or... I'm not sure, like, kind of like, think like parentheses or something like that. But it, it had some other lettering and stuff on it. I couldn't quite read it. But... It... I don't. I'm, I kind of have some notes here written down, but it's, it's really hard to because I don't have much information here because it, it was it was, it was kind of blurry. Like I, I couldn't really read the sign, but it, or the, the the sign, but it kind of looked like it said like slushy or slushy or something like that. Like maybe the iced slushy or something. Um, but I really didn't pay much attention to it. So I, I, I go ahead and just walk on past the sign, kind of just, just ignoring it Be, beyond the glance I gave it because it, it was nonsensical to me. I didn't really understand anything it said. Um, so I had just moved on past the sign, kind of ignoring it other than just giving it a general glance because I didn't really understand anything on it other than it said like saucy or something like that. I don't I'm thinking like the ice slushy or something. Um, but in the distant, as I finally my, my head just for some reason kind of stared at the wall as I was walking for a little bit and then finally looked forward and I had seen in the distance an old man. Um, kind of like slouched over for it a little bit pretty old probably <laughs> probably like 70s 80s or 90s like, like pretty old not like exceptionally old or they're like falling apart or anything it's just just old old um <clears throat> uh pretty sure he was like he wasn't white but he wasn't black he was kind of like a kind of like in between kind of brownish color um Maybe a little bit lighter than that, but he had a really long gray white beard that kind of came down to his belly. Think of like Gandalf's beard or something like that. Um, just really, actually, if I, I don't, I hadn't seen Gan, I haven't seen that show, that movie in a while. But it, it was a really long white gray beard that went down to about his belly, and as it went down, it got thinner and thinner, kind of like into like a a, a point, kind of like shape a. a conical shape or something like that um i just immediately when i made eye contact with him he just had this nice demeanor about him a smile on his face and i just sensed physically and mentally kind of sensed just a very warm inviting sensation he wanted me to to come closer to keep approaching him um i really didn't feel any insecurity in fact i i felt so I, I try approaching further, but I seem to never get closer as I'm approaching the old man. It's, it's, the sensation it just was the same. He just felt really welcoming, warm, inviting, wanting me to come closer. But I, I keep walking down this catwalk, but I never seem to get closer. Th this goes on for a while. I kind of admitted some just really minor things because really all this, all the, it seems like it goes on for a while that I just keep walking, but he never gets closer. It's, it's kind of agitating. Um, but suddenly that a similar sign, not exactly the same, but similar sign appeared this time. It was on my left side versus my right side. Couldn't really read it. 
kind of the parentheses shape thing and it looked like a drink dispenser of some sort but it didn't say slushy it said slussy i'm not sure exactly i think that or I, I don't know how i don't know how to pronounce it um again it was kind of a nonsensical word to me um but I reach out and touch the similar sign that was from before. It was similar, but the nonsensical wording was different. Again, I can't read it. I don't understand it. It's like in a foreign language, shapes and symbols. Um, but as I reach out and touch the sign this time, it's just kind of warm and I guess kind of like moist like the living wall was before. At this point, the walls really aren't undulating like they were, as if it was alive. Um, but the signs like that instead. Uh, I look over my right shoulder. Um, the sign was on the left, and I'm I'm looking down the catwalk to where I was heading, and the old man is nodding his head like kind of in an approving way. He he had that big smile on his face again. Um, didn't really feel anything or sense anything alarming about it just general kind of approval kind of nodding i guess um so i just continue back on down the catwalk uh he's still there i don't really seem to be getting any, any closer to that old man again um which is at this point i'm i'm kind of getting a sense a personal sense of frustration at this point. And at the, I had kind of forgot the fact that my hand was reached out in front of me with that shell, just, just kind of sitting in my palm. Um, but it's the shell starts to vibrate again. Um, and it's kind of like a yearning directing me to continue forward on the path I'm going down the catwalk this point i've capped uh, past a couple other kind of like cross intersections where i can either go forward left or right or back but i just keep going forward on this um it's just it just it was directing me to keep going forward um more of the signs still present it was almost the same sign it was always a little bit different whatever the nonsensical shapes letterings or whatever was on it was always slightly different each time i'd see one and sometimes they're on the left sometimes they're on the right but they were all about the same um but as i continue down uh things are just becoming a little bit more clear visual wise because it was a, a dark hallway dark catwalk hallway i couldn't see below me though it was just it, kind of like a drop off into like infinite pitch blackness um, it kind of faded kind of gray, then darker and darker and darker as if you had looked down. Um, but as I continue down, the walls become kind of more wet. Um, and this time, the, the, I am starting to get closer to the old man at this point. But just the atmosphere seems more humid or moist. I don't know if you've ever been like down in like... Um, Atlanta and all that stuff. It's like unbearably humid. It was kind of like just every no, never inch been there. Of you, every inch of your body just feels wet constantly. I, I, I hate humidity. Um, but the signs are still appearing. But the further I go, they the signs themselves become more wet and drippy. And this is if they're starting to become fluid or covered in something but still somehow kind of maintaining their visual shape and form. Um, and at this point, I'm certain it is that the walls are becoming more cement or concrete and less kind of organic as they were before, but the signs instead are becoming more organic and alive in their place. Um, the old man just at this point when i start noticing such things begins to speak uh i just kind of pause where i'm at just looking at him he's still off in the distance but i had at this point 
started to get closer. I can't really understand anything he's he is saying. It it just sounds goobly gobs to me. Just I don't quite understand what's his lips are moving. I can hear the sound. It's just nothing's really processing. Um and though I feel or kind of sense what he is wanting to communicate mentally instead versus verbally hearing it. Um, as if a pressure is kind of building in between my eyes along my forehead. Um, he wants me to study the, the poster more. Um, at this point, I had to walk a little bit further. The walls are mostly just concrete. and But the signs are more present. And I just kind of reach out. Kind of like what the old man was just telling me to reach out and just touch it. I, I pressed my hand against the signs wording. Um, it was like slushy or slussy or something. I, I don't know. Um, not sure if that meant the frozen drink or not. Um, but at this point, just my hand kind of sinks in. It just feels kind of slimy the way the sign looked and then next thing i know uh, i wake up um this one I actually remembered fairly vividly i mean there was a couple portions in it that are a little kind of on the um the kind of foggy side um kind of that part that kind of admitted where i just kept kind of walking down the hallway um it was about all the same stuff that happened but there are por- portions during that that are that kind of seemed foggy. I don't, maybe there was more. Maybe there wasn't. I don't know. It's just, just, it's just what I wrote down in the journal when I woke okay. up. Bill, that's fine. That's fine. You describe things very well. So you don't have to, um, you know, you have a description of what you're experiencing. And always try to keep it simple. So you don't have to uh, over-describe it or describe what you're describing if you understand what I'm saying, see, and a lot of stuttering in that. Just keep it simple. Okay, so you're walking down the catwalk. You see the old man. You see these signs are kind of wavy, etc. Just be very calm and just simply explain it. So you don't have to explain what you're explaining. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Because that confuses you, too. You want to simplify these things as best you can. You want to take a look at it and simplify it. Uh, Your mind is set up a particular way, and this is what you're going to learn. See, the first thing you're going to learn through this to get to your intuitive side and eventually to your real awareness that's operating in these five bodies is uh, you have to understand yourself as how you've been set up. And to understand that, not just thinking that, oh, gee, I can talk and I can think and I can imagine things, so I'm fine. Well, actually, uh, yes, you are in a way, but uh, according to the world uh, and how, you know, strange it is, etc. But if that's okay with you, but now you're on a journey to really see what's going on. And there's a whole lot more to it. So it's learning to see something else that you're not seeing. 